So for the last four years, uh, right after I graduated, I moved to Philadelphia, where I was at the University of Pennsylvania for a post-baccalaureate program. And I did that program until 2019, and then I started working full-time for Penn Medicine and ovarian cancer research. And I was there applying to schools, and I ended up getting into the University of Louisville, where I'm at now for medical school. And I just finished my first year of medical school. So uh, this first year, we did anatomy and a bunch of different uh, microbiology, biochem, uh, histology, pathology. And I think I want to go into family medicine and then do a fellowship in sports medicine. So when I first, uh, or when I first moved to Philadelphia, I tried to find some basketball leagues. And uh, at the time, I think I was kind of just looking for something different. Like I could go to the gym and play basketball, but I think I just looked for really anything I could get involved in. And I found handball and liked the page on Facebook and they invited me out to to play with them for a, um, a practice or two and I, the first time I was there I loved it. I didn't really know all the rules at first but it was very similar to basketball so I was able to pick it up very quickly and instead of two steps in basketball you know before travel you get three steps and it's dribbling and everything and it's a lot more physical what I think is what basketball was missing so um, right off the bat I loved the sport and decided to keep playing um, and then right in the middle of med school I saw that Team USA was having tryouts and not too far from me so I decided to go to tryouts and it didn't really interfere with uh, my studies or anything so I went and I got a call back saying you know we're having this training camp in France come on out <laughs> so I came back here to kind of get some lifts in play at, play a little basketball with the, the kids here now and I think in a few days May 30th I'll head off to France for training camp I'm most looking forward to I think just uh, playing a lot more because I think uh, because of the pandemic and things it's been kind of hard to even find sports you can even play so being a little step behind in handball uh, like learning the game I think it's going to be more beneficial for me to be around people who play a lot and not only that get to know the people and get to you know be around the coaches and you know who doesn't like France. My favorite part about playing at Richmond was my teammates. Like I, I went to school with uh, f five of us came in and coming in, you know, we all graduated together and just being a part of that friend group and being able to be freshmen and grow as seniors together, that was m my absolute favorite part. And you know, being able to go to practice and see your friends, even if you don't want to go to practice, you're like, I get to see my friends there. And that was the best part. I think it just teaches you time management. Um, you don't have to settle for just one thing if you, if you don't want to. So just having like basketball and academics and then you have to, you know, have, have a sense of time management and also like a, you know, perseverance because not everything's going to be easy. So just knowing that, you know, you, you'll figure out your way if you want to and I think just being able to transfer that over to middle school, things are a lot harder now academically. So just knowing that you've been through tough times and they don't, they're not, not going to always last. You know how to reach out for help when you need it and you know that you have a support group also standing by your side so you're not alone.